we're asked to simplify the following expressions. The expressions are considered simplified only when written with positive exponents. So looking at the first expression, we have x to the fourth over y to the fifth raised to the power of negative three. And there are two ways to simplify the expression. We will discuss both methods. First, let's apply the power property of exponents shown here, where if we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents, which means for this expression, we'll multiply the exponents inside the parentheses by negative three. So the given expression is equal to x raised to the power of four times negative three over y raised to the power of five times negative three. So this would give us x raised to the power of negative 12 over y raised to the power of negative 15. And now we'll apply the negative exponent property shown here, where a raised to the power of negative m over b raised to the power of negative n equals b raised to the power of positive n over a raised to the power of positive m. This exponent property is telling us if we move an exponential term across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of the exponent. a to the negative m in the numerator is equal to a raised to the power of positive m in the denominator, and b raised to the power of negative n in the denominator is equal to b raised to the power of positive n in the numerator. So to write this expression using positive exponents, we'll move x to the negative 12 down to the denominator, and y to the negative 15th up to the numerator, which means the expression is equal to y raised to the power of positive 15 over x raised to the power of positive 12. So this is one method for simplifying the given expression. Another method would be to apply this negative exponent property first, where the fraction a over b raised to the power of negative m equals the fraction b over a raised to the power of positive m. Notice a over b and b over a are reciprocals. So if we take the reciprocal of the fraction inside the parentheses, it changes the sign of the exponent, which means the given expression is equal to y to the fifth over x to the fourth. Notice how this is the reciprocal of the fraction inside the parentheses, and this would now be raised to the power of positive three. From here, we can apply the power property of exponents. So we multiply the exponents. This will give us y raised to the power of five times three over x raised to the power of four times three, which does give us the same result of y to the 15th over x to the 12th. Looking at the next expression, again, we can take two approaches to this. And again, we'll show both. If we apply the power property of exponents first, we would multiply the exponents. So this is equal to negative. In the numerator, we'd have r raised to the power of two times negative one. In the denominator, we'd have t raised to the power of four times negative one. This is equal to negative. The numerator would be r raised to the power of negative two the denominator would be t raised to the power of negative four. And now to write this using positive exponents, we would move r to the negative two down to the denominator and t to the negative four up to the numerator. And this will change the sign of the exponents. So this is equal to negative, and then we'd have t raised to the power of positive four over r raised to the power of positive two. Or the other option is to apply the negative exponent property shown here so the given expression is equal to negative, and then in parentheses, we'll take the reciprocal of the fraction, so we'd have t to the fourth over r to the second, and because this is the reciprocal, the exponent of negative one will now be positive one. And now we have power raised to powers, so we multiply the exponents. We have negative, and then t to the power of, well, four times one is just four, and r raised to the power of two times one, which is two, and notice how we get the same simplified expression using either method. Now looking at our last expression, notice how we have a quotient. But looking closely at this quotient, notice how none of the bases are the same, and therefore we do not apply the quotient property of the exponent shown here, again, because we don't have a common base in the numerator and denominator. So our goal here is to write the expression using only positive exponents. 
which means we'll move w to the negative 2 down to the denominator and y to the power of negative 6 up to the numerator. All the other terms will stay where they are because they already have positive exponents. So the given expression is equal to, in the numerator we have x to the fourth. If we move y to the negative six up to the numerator, it would be y to the positive six power. In the denominator we have four. We're moving w to the negative two down to the denominator, which would be w to the power of positive two. And we have a z to the eighth also in the denominator. The expression is now simplified. I hope you found this helpful.